definitely in the flat cloud. You know, you're definitely on target. And I was thinking about this when I was driving up here to Lampasas, that the Obama administration is intentionally using military bases to house illegals because they have an easier time to block access to the press and to the public. You know, back before 9-11, I used to go on Fort Hood, which is about 30 miles from here, for martial arts class, and I could just drive on base, no problem. But after 9-11, I was, had to go through a checkpoint and had to, had to uh, go through a vehicle search. So a lot of this is all due to the uh, police state that's been implemented uh, through 9-11. It's being used on us, though. I mean, have you noticed Pelosi and Obama keep speaking at bases, but on domestic issues? They do it to control everything. There's no press there. They call it a press conference. No one's there. In fact, you guys went down twice, and they they detained you guys once in Biggs and said you can't be here. Homeland Security did the Secret Service for Pelosi, and you guys had the press release that they were having a press conference. I mean, I send, I got former Scripps Howard News Service reporters, you name it. I send you guys out. And they put you in handcuffs. We'll, we'll be back. Stay with us. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and getting the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products at infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles and nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence, but to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July 
at madein1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. Beautiful music, Baker Street bringing us in. Look, I'm hyperventilating and ranting today because if the political class can get away with this, they can do anything. And it shows how destructive they are. And because they can pose with Homeland Security, the Department of Illegal Immigrant Importation, because they can pose as the saviors over any crisis. They only get more power out of the problems they create, the Hegelian dialectic of problem, reaction, solution. That's why they've been funding al-Qaeda for decades. And the media spins it. Alex says there's no Muslim extremists. No, I didn't say that. I said criminal elements in government and corporations are funding these groups to destabilize the world so they can radically transform our country into a police state. And now you hear the police state isn't for al-Qaeda. It's not for the open borders. It's not for the illegals. It's for the American people and the Tea Party and gun owners and returning veterans. I mean, this is dangerous. They train the military to fight who they think the next enemy is going to be. And now in hundreds of mainstream publications, not just Infowars.com breaking it six years ago, but in hundreds of mainstream publications, all of you know this, it's all over the news. They say gun owners and veterans are terrorists and are going to blow up federal buildings and we've all got to be arrested. Now, you know, that's a bunch of bull. You know, Clinton had his hands all over Oklahoma City. So much proof, I could spend 10 hours on it. I could convict all of them in front of a jury in just a few hours. I have the eyewitnesses, the names, where the bombs were at, and video of it. So, do, listen, they're doing all this because they think they can win. And I'm not trying to scare you telling you all this. I'm trying to get you to realize that your only hope is to speak out against it and say no to it. And to stand behind those that tell the truth. There's all these talk show hosts locally and nationally that make fun of me all day long. And I don't even need you to apologize to me. I need you to apologize to your own family and yourself and start telling the truth. And to admit that InfoWars knows what it's talking about. That I know what I'm talking about. And you better get on the ball right now. Or quite frankly... I've sworn to stay here until it all collapses. I don't know what I'm doing with my family, but I could broadcast from another country. I'll tell you right now, again, a lot of people have said you should have an exit plan, and I agree with them. This isn't a game, people. I mean, this is not a game. The level of crime being committed by the federal government is, I've never, I, 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 well, let's just go back to Kit Daniels. Kit, I... You got cut off by that last break. Uh, again, the White House uh, is wanting you arrested for saying, hi, I'm here to report. I'm here to go on. And because their own gate person still thought it was a free country on an open base, they let you in with our reporters. I guess it was, was it, you've been down there a bunch. Was it you and Jakari? Was it you and Biggs? Which trip is this letter covering? It was uh, the trip of me and Biggs. It was about, I think it was about the middle of June. Yeah. And this letter was signed the 28th. We didn't get it till uh, Thursday. Yeah. So it, it took them a good two or three weeks to send me this letter. Saying we're going to put you in prison if you ever come on a base again. Yeah. And I want to point out that when the founding fathers talked about freedom of the press, they were not talking about corporate media. What they were talking about was independent publishers. Like at the time was, you think about like the uh, Poor Rich Development Act and so on and so forth. Which today, yeah, for those that don't know, it was total underground, hidden little presses printing off 20 little, you know, proto photocopies, two-sided bills about what, what the Redcoats did. That's why all of you aren't just as important as the New York Times. It's compromise and globalist run. You are all we've got. Listeners, get out there. Go ahead, kid. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Because the... Uh the little underground publishers back then, they are the bloggers of today. They are the citizen journalists of today. And 
That's why it's critical to support the alternative media, because what we're seeing right now is the renaissance of the press. We, uh, uh, investigative journalism is almost dead in mainstream media, but all the former investigative journalists in, are now coming to alternative media. So within the next five, ten years, there's going to be an explosion of alternative media. And again, we're not even alternative. I use that word, too. We're the real media versus the state-run media. Three weeks ago, Kit, we broke. This is so bombshell. Not that we broke it, but that it, it, they could cover it up for three weeks. That they're shipping the illegals in and giving them vouchers on government-funded buses, Greyhound. And we have video of it, and it all being admitted, it's now in the New York Times, but they hit it like flatulence in church in the back of an article mm -hmm. that, oh, yeah, the spokesman said they're shipping them into the country. Yeah, it's, it's pretty common that the, the real news in articles is usually in the eighth or ninth paragraph. And again, they do that just to cover their butts, and uh, they get fired if they don't. I mean, I know a lot of big folks I've had. ABC Nightly News host had dinner with him. He didn't say it was off record. Now it was on Nightline. He also hosted that. And they basically just admitted, you know, they're mercenaries. I, I've, I've, I mean, I've had dinner. I'm not bragging. It's just I've seen stuff people haven't seen. And most people that even work for the system are scared. <laughs> and they got bills to pay and have had divorces and, you know, got alimony to pay. And they are literally mercenaries. And they go home and get drunk at night because they're so depressed about it. And, and now they're losing their jobs. The globalists don't even need them anymore. They rode the mainstream media like a horse until it had a heart attack and died. They rode it to death until it was fully discredited. And now they announce, oh, we have robots to write the articles now. <laughs> I mean, what type of system is this? A bunch of traitors. There's no honor among thieves, people. None of your pensions are safe. Nothing safe under a system like this. This is pure evil coming in. Kent, other points. Well, if you want to uh, protect yourself as a journalist, you got to be an individual. You cannot, you cannot be a part of the collective because the collective doesn't care about you as an individual. They're not going to care about you as a journalist. They're just going to use you until they can bring in the robot journalist. So it's just a... it's. You notice, you notice on the cable news now that most of the so-called news shows are political commentary, like Alex Wagner and MSNBC, so on and so forth. They're not really reporting on anything. They're just bad-mouthing other media heads or people they disagree with. And that is how far, that's how far, far the mainstream media has fallen, because you no longer, not only has investigative journalists disappeared, but now news reporting, in essence, has also disappeared. And now it's just political commentary that supports the establishment viewpoint. Well, well said, Kit. We're going to have more with you coming up. I really appreciate your courage because, as George Arwell said, in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. We appreciate you. We're going to come back with more with Kit Daniels here in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I just want to briefly, again, say this. We're not being dramatic. Our government signed on to 1.5 quadrillion, that's even in the USA Today, of foreign fake counterfeit debt in 2008. There's political elites getting caught doing you name it, secret experimentation, forced abortions. Nobody gets in trouble in this country. The political class is in a crazy revolution against normalcy and decency and against any restraint on them. Satanism is the only description of it. These people are out of control. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Jones. Uh, InfoWars is still there for now. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates. I get her flowers. You name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals.
Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com.